more than 20 years after a UCF student was shot and killed in her Orlando apartment. The man accused of murdering her is now on trial. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Police identified Benjamin Holmes as the suspected killer through DNA evidence and a genealogy database. New 6 investigator Mike DeForest is at the Orange County Courthouse where testimony is underway. Benjamin Holmes is in court and facing a jury more than two decades after prosecutors say he murdered a UCF student. Christine Frankie was found shot to death in her Orlando apartment in October 2001. Although there's no evidence Frankie was sexually assaulted, investigators say they found semen stains on her body. Over the years, authorities have compared that DNA to many people, but they could not find a match until 2018. And when you told me that my DNA helped solve a 17-year cold case murder, I just couldn't believe it. John Hogan tells News 6 he submitted a DNA sample to the genealogy service Ancestry DNA in hopes of learning more about his family. Hogan's DNA results were later uploaded to another genealogy service called GEDmatch. Little did he know, Orlando police had uploaded the suspected killer's DNA information to that same database. Detectives soon concluded the person who murdered Frankie was related to Hogan. Wow, that's amazing. Genealogists constructed Hogan's family tree and began going through it branch by branch until they came across Holmes. Investigators say DNA Holmes left behind on a cigar like these matched the DNA found at the crime scene. There was a, like a translucent substance. Today, a crime scene investigator told jurors how she carefully collected that DNA from the victim's body. During opening statements, Holmes' attorney did not dispute that his client's DNA was found at the crime scene, but the defense claims someone who knew the victim planted it there and then staged the crime scene to protect what they describe as the real killer. During opening statements, the defense did not explain how someone else could have gotten Holmes' DNA in the first place to be able to plant it at the crime scene, but it appears that DNA is the only potential evidence linking Holmes to the murder. According to his attorney, Holmes and Frankie did not know each other. No one has ever seen the two of them together, and there was no other evidence, including fingerprints or shoe prints, that put Holmes at the crime scene. Mike DeForest, News 6.